Hello, welcome to my latest uh, week ahead review. I've just been talking to Meridian about the latest migrant crossings over the weekend where two boats were intercepted uh, on this side of the channel and another boat on the French side of the, the channel with 32 Iraqi and Iranian um, migrants. The numbers have subsided a bit over recent weeks, but we've still got to do an awful lot more to make sure that these people are not getting to the hands of these people traffickers and making these really hazardous journeys across the uh, channel. Now, in the Commons today, we've got two particular debates that a number of people have written to me uh, about. Uh, one on the use of medical cannabis, which I fully supported, and we've had the high-profile cases of uh, children with some very complicated uh, conditions who need a form of medical um, cannabis. The government agreed to, uh, to that. They've set up some experts uh, to approve that. But to date, there's still not enough children getting access to those uh, medicines. We've also got a... Uh, a debate on the treatment of veterans. So this is something I feel very strongly about and I've mentioned uh, before where we have veterans of the British Army who served in Northern Ireland over 30 years ago are now facing uh, charges about uh, their con conduct, obeying uh, orders, doing their uh, job all these years on. That cannot be right and cannot be fair and I welcome the comments by the new Defence Secretary Penny Morden that she wants to see this matter resolved and something done to give them proper protection so I think we all agree uh, that they absolutely um, deserve. Tomorrow on the Home Affairs Select Committee we'll have another hearing on Islamophobia with witnesses there. There's a very contentious proposal about having a definition of uh, Islamophobia uh, which frankly I think is unworkable or the Chief and Law Enforcement uh, uh, agencies and a lot of Muslim groups themselves think uh, is unworkable and we'll be uh, having a hearing uh, on uh, that. Uh, we had a very interesting session on the Home Fair Select Committee last week with a group of young people from three London uh, boroughs talking about knife crime and their views on the police and some really worrying comments uh, about how they just don't trust people in positions of, uh, of authority and clearly we've got to do a lot more to get back the trust of young black teenagers uh, in particular to feel that the police are there to uh, protect them and not to hassle them as too many of them uh, were saying to us. Later in the week we got important debates on the continuing situation in Yemen although there was encouraging news about the Houthis uh, withdrawing some of their forces um, last, uh, uh, last week. Uh, tonight I've contributed to a feature on Newsnight which is a study they're doing into the conditions for care leavers on various forms of supported accommodation that are just not coming up to scratch and as former children's minister dealing with children in the care system we need to do a lot to, uh, better. Uh, that's part of an ongoing uh, in-depth study that Newsnight um, are uh, doing. I'm speaking at a, an event on Wednesday around uh, domestic violence and vulnerable children in those uh, uh, relationships and then we have a further debate on a called a tenant rule bill about unauthorized traveler encampments we still need to improve the uh, law so that we cannot have these unauthorized traveler encampments which in some cases I'm afraid cause uh, an awful lot of uh, inconvenience and hassle to people and we know that um, uh, locally um, then on um, Thursday I will be having a slightly early surgery this uh, week uh, and if you want to book a, an appointment for that then please ring up the constituency office in Shoreham and then on Friday I'm off to a, a conference in Cambridge to talk about my private members bill on civil uh, partnerships uh, which has now become law and the first civil partnerships for opposite sex couples will be happening before the uh, end of this year. Finally Thursday it is European Elections Day um, many of us didn't want to be here. We are. However you're going to vote, use your vote. Go out and vote between 7 and 10 o'clock. The count won't be happening until Sunday because that's when most other EU countries uh, vote and the count um, will be done at the same time and the results announced uh, uh, then. Uh, so a mixed week uh, this week, but do go out and do your bit and vote on uh, uh, Thursday and I'll be up back with an update about where we might be going on further uh, withdrawal agreement uh, debates and legislation at the beginning of June and I'll give an update on that uh, next week.